Hello, I've just got my hands on a new headlamp from Phoenix, or should I pronounce it Phoenix? It's the 1400 lumen HM65R. This light can deliver up to a 1000 lumen beam alongside a 400 lumen floodlight. It runs off a single 3500 milliampere replaceable 18650 battery and has an IP68 waterproof rating. So it's good for immersion down to about 2 meters. It weighs in at a mere 150 grams, including the battery. The lamp has a USB-C charging port, so the cell can be charged in situ. It also has a 4 LED battery level indicator, a lockout function, which prevents the lamp being switched on accidentally during transit, and comes with a 5-year free repair warranty. There are two waterproof and incidentally mudproof operating buttons on the top of the lamp, Briefly press either button to show the battery status. The right hand button activates the beam LED and the left hand button the flood. A half second press switches the LED on or off. The lamp memorises at the last U setting. Further brief presses cycle through the outputs. For the beam or spotlight the outputs are 1000, 400, 130 and 50 lumens. For the flood, the outputs are 400, 130 and 80 lumens. On the 8 lumen camp setting, the lamp will run for an amazing 300 hours. This chart shows typical run times on different settings. To activate or deactivate the lockout function, press both buttons for 4 seconds. The flood LED will blink 4 times to indicate the locked status. The normal charging time is around a couple of hours and the advantage of USB charging is that the lamp can be charged in the car or via a charging brick. Incidentally it does come with its own charging cable. Well that's a quick run through the claim functionality but there's really only one way to test out a caving headlamp to see if it lives up to the hype and that's to take it caving. This is the Fenex HM65R on full output of 1400 lumens which is pretty amazing I've been caving with a scurrion for a number of years and by comparison this is a really fine caving light if I turn off the beam we're now on just the flood setting which obviously is great for normal caving but doesn't really show up terribly well on the video The flood setting has three light intensities. That's the lowest, medium, high. And then on the beam we have four light settings. Low, step up one, up two, up three. And that's the maximum output, uh, which is going to be quite a reasonable video light. Well, as you've seen, I've been very impressed with the HM65R. It's small and lightweight with an amazing light output. As it's powered by a single 18650 replaceable battery, it means that spare batteries can be taken underground, making the lamp great for longer caving trips too. But don't take my word for it. I loaned the lamp to Chris Barrington for a trip into Craig of Funnan. Let's hear what he had to say. Okay, Chris, uh, you've just tried out the new head torch from Fenix, the 1400 lumen HM65R in Craig of Finnan. What do you think? It was, went really well. It, went, it survived the water and there was plenty of that. Uh, it was nice, light and weight because my, uh, my torch is, is the uh, Petzl, it's the old duo with the big battery pack on the back and this has got such a small battery, it was really nice, so it's a lot lighter and I, def I could definitely do that. Uh, nice and bright and considering it's the first time I've ever used it, I could use the control straight away. So left was um, the flood, right for full for the spotlight one and then just press and lighter and dimmer so that was good so there was no problem using the controls no problem finding it with the gloves on and yeah it did the job of thing um, you've got a few scratches on there so I don't know how robust the anodizing is going to be but I mean it's going through a cave so it'll always go 
um, it gets scratched anyway. But yeah, it feels solid as well. It's a, it's a solid piece of, of steel and it's good all round.